Here's Slipper Rock head coach Sean Lutz, a 34-13 win over Gannon to open the PSAC West schedule. You extend the longest home winning streak in the country to 19 games and uh, really got in control early in the first quarter there and uh, gave up one big play, one touchdown run of about 59 yards. Other than that, really kind of shut Gannon's offense down all night. Your overall thoughts on the game? Very excited. It was a great atmosphere tonight. Our students really came out the Rock Rowdies. It was a whiteout. It was just a great, great atmosphere. We start out PSAC West play. They're undefeated. We're undefeated. It was just a, it was a great night, you know. And um, I like the way our guys really came through in the second half and the way they finished that game. We had some sloppy stuff, you know, penalties that we got to limit that. But anytime you beat a team like that, 34 to 13, you, you got to be excited. And. Uh talk about the offensive side of the ball first here. Uh, your quarterback seems to be coming into his own now here. Uh, the, the opposition was a little weaker last week, but 400 plus yards last week passing. And then he comes out against a good Gannon team today. It goes 34 completions, uh, 370 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Talk about Don King's performance. Yeah, yeah, I think he was under the microscope a little bit and people were putting a little too much pressure on him. I mean, he's new. The first two games, he had to get in sync with these receivers and um, you know, he came through in that Lock Haven game, which we were a lot better than Lock Haven. But he's really coming. On, he's really coming into his own. I mean, he's what uh, two completions away, breaking the all-time uh, number of completions in a game, and he extends plays. He's finding a little good connection with with Ray and with Marcus Johnson, and uh, people are going to try to stop the run again. I mean, Shamar had over 100 tonight, but he had to work for those 100 right there, and. Um, Don's just a capable guy that can stem plays and capable of getting the ball downfield. And you mentioned that chemistry developing with Marcus Johnson and Cornelius Ray. Uh, those two guys combined for 18 catches and more than 200 yards between the two of them tonight. And then he found Brian McNally for two touchdowns, uh, the tight end coming out of the backfield. Uh, just talk about the uh, what what uh, what Marcus Johnson and, and Cornelius Ray have done the last couple of weeks with developing that chemistry. I tell you, as an outside receiver, Marcus Johnson has tremendous ball skills. We found that out opening week against New Haven, and uh, he. He finds a way to make catch. He actually dropped the deep one, and I think it was early in the fourth quarter or something like that, and he came back, he got it back, and he's, he just got great ball skills. And then he got a different type receiver and, and Cornelius Ray. He's a slot guy. When he catches the ball in space, he's hard to tackle. He's, he's, he's not real big, but uh, he's elusive and he's quick. It gives us a good inside-outside type of receiver play we like in our offense. And uh, one other guy to touch on on the offensive side of the ball, uh, Jake Chapler, your true freshman kicker. Struggled the first couple weeks with those PATs, just getting the ball elevated enough, but perfect on the night tonight. Two for two in field goals, made all of his PATs, hit a 45-yard field goal. Talk about his performance tonight. It's great. When we have, a, you know, we lost a good kicker last year, and, and to get a guy, a true freshman, he was a little shaky at the beginning of the season, like people were saying about Don King, and he's just stepped into his own. He's actually wanted, he, he wanted to kick one for 52 or 54. He's done it in practice. We're going to hold off on that right now. But him to get kicked at 44 and the way he kicks off has just been a great, great plus to us. And we have no problems ever going for it. But also, if we need to kick a field goal, we'll do that as well because we have total confidence in Jake Chapman. And defensively, you held Gannon to, uh, to just 302 yards of total offense. 59 of that came on one play, the one long run. Out of, other than that, you held him out of the end zone. More importantly, you shut him out in the second half. It was, they had 13 points in the first half, didn't score in the second half. Uh, talk about your defensive effort tonight. You, know, you got to give credit to Dom Rosano, his staff, Dom Mark, um, Tevin Williams, Quindell Dean, and Mike Rod. I don't want to forget those guys. They do a tremendous job. We have a veteran defense, so, and going in the game, I like our chances when their strength was running the football. But something I really like today that we take a lot of heat on sometimes as a defense is the way we defended the pass. You know, they threw one up on a fade that, that was a tough one, but I thought we our guys were, were pressuring the quarterback, containing him, and I thought the secretary did a tremendous job as well in the air. And you're right, besides one big play, the defense did a heck of a performance tonight. And one guy to, to highlight on the defense there, Anthony Zappone, uh, your transfer linebacker. 12 tackles, led the team again uh, for the third time in four games. He had a sack. He had an interception today. He's all over the field. Talk about the addition of Zappone. He's outstanding. He's a downhill, physical football player. In our system, that bandit linebacker in the boundary does make a lot of plays. He's replacing a Tevin Williams, who was a great pl player for us last year. But what people don't realize, he's a big, tall, rugged type guy, but he's good He's good in the pass game as well. He's a very athletic guy. He had another interception tonight, and he's just done a tremendous job. He's a playmaker, and uh, we have a lot of playmakers on defense, but every week you see he gets over 10 tackles and had an interception tonight, so very proud of his efforts. 
And uh, looking ahead now, you're 4-0, 1-0 in the PSAC West play. It doesn't get any easier. Wow. Cal put up a dominant performance today against Seton Hill on the road. You get Cal next week on the road, two 4-0 teams. Where's the team's mentality heading into that one? I tell you what, we're going to have to play better. We're going to have to play better. I thought that Seton Hill-Cal game would be a little bit closer, and it wasn't. I mean, they're a veteran group on offense, and they're playing very, very well. you got to go to their place, and there's no breathers in this league. You know, I don't know what happened with all the other scores, but before we had six of the eight teams undefeated. So each and every week, but Cal's going to be a big test for us. So we got a lot of work to do. Well, congratulations, Coach. Good win tonight. Hey, thank you, and go Rock.